Hello, Sycamore. Happy Thursday, the final day of third quarter. When we return from spring break, we'll be starting a fresh new final fourth quarter and the last in the very building. Wow. Epic. Today is March 16th, 2023, and welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Kieran. And hello, I'm Harper. Crazy thing that we're moving into the final quarter ever in this old building. We're sad about the old building, but I'm so excited to be here with you on the daily video announcements. Wait, last day of the quarter? This school year has gone by so fast. After spring break is a new quarter and a fresh start. I know I'm going to study and do all my homework to achieve good grades. Wow, now that I'm thinking about it, summer break is right around the corner. Now let's please stand, put our hand over our heart, and honor our country while we say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. Remember, the last port is approaching, which means summer break is almost here. But don't check out yet. We still have to make it through the last quarter with a positive attitude and our best work ethics. Check work and school emails throughout the day. And be PBIS responsible young adults. Be safe, be respectful, and be positive problem solvers. Flexball is participating in Noman Danny's Pencil Bouncing Challenge. Be sure to register your two best player scores in the form today before you leave. Time to mark and check your calendars for school events. Tomorrow is the last day to buy your school yearbook. Now over to Mr. Stern and Mr. Harris with the brackets for Student Council Pop Tab Tournament. Well, I don't know about you guys, but this is my favorite time of year is, you know, everybody thinks of March Madness and everything like that. Well, here at Sycamore Junior High, we have our own version of March Madness, and it's a great Pop Tab uh, reveal the bracket reveal, and I'm really excited about it this yeah, year. Yeah, you know it's been, it's been a long time. The last time we did this was uh, right around March 10th of 2020, and, and we all know uh, by March 13th we we were out of here and backed up and never came back. So we had the great bracket reveal in 2020. We never got to do the contest, and we never did it in tw in uh, in 21 or 22, and here we are in 23. And I know a lot of people have been hoarding. A lot of pop tabs, yeah. so we are we are ready to go with today's bracket reveal. And, and with that said, um, let's take a look at the east bracket. All right, so the east bracket is up there, and uh, as you can see, um, you know it's an interesting bracket. What do you think? Yeah, you know I think so too. We we definitely have have some some veterans in there. You know what. what I think that's going to be a really tough bracket to, to come out yeah, of. Yeah, to come out of. How about you? Uh, our next bracket that we're putting up there is the Midwest. So you can see that Midwest bracket up there. Mm. Uh, let's take a look at the South bracket. So we've got the West bracket there. Uh, that's an interesting looking looking bracket. That is because I'm sure what sticks out to you, we, we all knew that this competitor was going to be in the bracket. We know that this is kind of where the where the whole Pop Tab tournament is going to live. Let's talk about Tanaka. Yeah, I mean, he's in there, okay? You know, he's a little bitter at times and everything, and I think that bitterness will fuel his drive to win this pop tab contest. I mean, he's gone to links that we had to put a rule in we just do. for Tanaka. Yes, we, we do have a rule. We, it's called the Tanaka Take. We had to put this in about six years ago because we don't know what was going on after school hours, but there would be these evenings where pop tabs were suddenly missing, and then all of a sudden they were in Tanaka's room. I'm not saying he took them. I'm uh, not we, saying that. Yeah, we're, we're not quite sure what happened. There were a lot of text messages going back and forth but we do have a rule let's talk about the Tanaka take so if your team is eliminated you are not really out of the tournament because those teams that have advanced they want your pop tabs and they will come to you and they will bribe you this is the Tanaka take uh, to try to get your pop tabs to slide over to them for that next round so 
They might offer you donuts. They might offer to wash your car. But there are going to be some big bribes that go on once teams are knocked out. So we call that the uh, Tanaka take, and that goes back many years. Now, now Tanaka, he's had some great tournaments, but let's just put it out there. It's no secret he's never won. He has made it to the final four, but he has never won the tournament. So maybe he could be hungry his, for this. This could be his year. Hey, he's had three years off. So yeah. you know, if he could be his year, we'll see what happens. So I'm so excited. I love my bracket, but it will be tough. I agree. Go to March Madness and collect those pop tabs, people. The first collection date is Wednesday, March 29th. Teachers will email their amounts before 3 p.m. to Mrs. Lolly. That's the first Wednesday we come back from break. Wow, but make sure you keep practicing pencil bouncing. I hope you heard by now that the Fine Arts Choir concert has been postponed until after spring break, Monday, March 27th. Tomorrow, March 17th, is our Student Personalized Learning Day. Again, we're going to repeat this one last time. The SJH yearbook ordering deadline for 2022-2023 has been extended and ends tomorrow, March 17th. That means you have today to order a book of our fun junior high memories in the last year of this old building. Next up, did, did you know? know? Air testing is approaching, so here is a quick mindfulness activity that you can try right now to ease you if you're anxious. It's pretty fun too. Yes, this helps me focus and stop worrying. First, look around and spot five things you can see that are purple. Second, identify four things you can feel, such as your clothes, hair, shoes, pencil, or chair. Third, identify three things you can hear, then two things you can smell, and finally, one thing you can taste. Hope that helps. Next up, National Day. Today is National Everything You Do Is Right Day. Really? What a good day to take a test. You would get in the hundred. <laughs> mm -hmm. Everything I do is right. So I do something and you do the opposite. Are you wrong? If I touch my head and you touch your toes, who's right and who's wrong? I'm wrong. No, you're wrong. Are we both wrong? No, wait, we're both right. Wait. <laughs> ah, enough. <laughs> Next up, let's hear birthdays. birthdays. Happy birthday to Practically. By the way, you did amazing in Footloose. Have a wonderful and great birthday. Now over to Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily video announcements. Our spring break starts tomorrow, last day, all right, and to start NCAA tournament, so have fun watching those games as you're on vacation next week. All right, we have a shout out. Congratulations to our junior high mathletes who competed in the Ohio Math Counts competition in Columbus last Saturday, March 11th. Sycamore had seven of the 12 individual students from the Cincinnati area who qualified for the state competition. It was a, another great ending to another successful math club season. So congratulations to our mathletes for competing. That's it for me today. You guys have a great vacation. Be safe. Uh, travel safely and everything. And we'll see everybody, not this Monday, but the Monday after. Bye. Thanks, Mr. Harris. Now it's time for the joke of the day. Why are bananas yellow? I don't know why. Because that's the color bananas are. That's not funny. I know. <laughs> Be extraordinary, Sycamore, and follow PBS expectations every day. Have a wonderful life and go A's.